Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to work on about exceptions. So if I press P, command P on in Atom, and you put your file name in there, that will pull you up directly to the file, which is kind of the fastest way, in my opinion, to look for files. Um, it's got um, auto load, so you can be like about whatever, true, um, and false or whatever without exception. So command P in Atom works kind of well. If you're using a different text editor, there's probably a similar one to do it to that. Um, so yeah, here we're uh, causing a fail time error on line nine. So uh, fail time, uh, a fill me in error, uh, my special error. So what this is doing is looking at um, ancestors. So let's throw this into our IRB. And actually, we've had the same IRB for a while, so I'm going to exit it and then just type IRB again to clear the console. And so now we'll just say class my uh, special error, and we're going to make that a runtime error. Uh, class inheritance, and then we'll end there. And so now we'll have my special error, and that gets you this error ob object. And so my special error dot ancestors right that gets you this array so this is the all the array so my special error is part of the runtime error class uh, this is I think it's part of the all the inheritance which is part of the standard error which is part of exception which is part of the object which is part of the kernel which is part of the basic object so you can use this ancestor thing to look back through your um, large programs and uh, inheritance and figure out some cool stuff so my special ancestor dot ancestors well this gives you back an array and it's saying at position one not position zero so it's not going to be my special error but it is going to be runtime error so we can just start plugging these guys in here uh, we know on uh, position two so this is zero one two we've got our standard error and then our ancestor three we're going to have an exception and then on ancestor four we're going to have an object Cool. So if I save this and run the test, let's see if that worked. Uh, looks like our new problem is on line 23, which is all the way down here, which means this is what we've completed. So yeah, I mean, you could do it in, in the thing as well, and this will give you the exact th uh, same things. So the ancestor at position four is an object. Um, so here we have test rescue clause. So here our result is equal to nil. Uh, we begin fail, oops. And then we rescue our standard error with the exception. And we say the result is equal to exception handled. So assert equal the result. So begin fail. So fail is a method which is going to fail. And then so we rescue, rescue with a standard error. And so that is going to end up, our result is going to be set to exception handled. So this just tells us that this uh, exception handled. So this just tells you that, that, that the result was set. So this block of code ran. So we started a block of code and we wanted to fail something. Rescue is a is a I think it's a method that grabs the that that defines the error and then it passes in a parameter of the error kind of uh, values I think. And then we just set the result to exception handled. So we want to assert a equal. Well here now we have ex as defined in here. So is a standard error? It should be a standard error. Hmm. Not exactly sure. Let's start here and we can just run this and then what happens if we go ex? Okay, it's a runtime error with a message of oops. And look, we've already got the message saved in there. So the the error is saved in here as ex. So if we go ex dot is uh, a um, and then we can say, well, we could say, is it an array? And it's going to say false. It's not an array. Well, is it a standard error? It is a standard error. And we could kind of see that because it says, oh, that's interesting that it's called a standard error. Rescue standard error. Oh, so what happens if we go fail? Oops. That means there. Then we get a no method error. Hmm. Well, we know it's true here because we just ran it, so we can just say this is true. The example is a standard error. Example is a runtime error. It seems like it's a runtime error to me as well. Interesting. So yeah, it's both. <clears throat> so our standard error is both a runtime error and a, a, a runtime error. Uh, assert runtime error.ancestors.includes standard error. So 
let's just throw runtime error into here and then we can see that ancestors have standard error is this first one so does it include this well this gives us an array and then include says if this is in there then return true and so here this is actually just going to return true so runtime error is a subclass and then this will be the example is dot message um, hmm. let's just save that and rerun this uh, it's kind of cheating here because this is quite kind of assert this and this so that should be true and so now if we do ex dot message it should be oops yeah so we should have this guy o o p s cool so we can run that rate task <coughs> and it looks like we're on to line 31 which is here okay so this needs to be a capital oops so I'll just rerun that and it looks like our new error is on line 43 so if we go down to 43 here we have test raising a particular error so result is equal to nil and then we say begin and well raise my special error my message and here they have raise and fail are a synonym so you can use either raise and fail up here we used fail down here we use raise and then we raise the error so instead of saying fail the error we just raise the error and then we rescue it with by setting an example uh, we had results set to nil and so I think we're just doing a similar thing um, yeah uh, we can put this in here we could do that like this and then we have experience here it's my special error if we did uh, and then what, what do you think happens with the result? Uh, the result is that the exception was handled, right? Exception handled. So it just shows you that this result gets reset in here because when we began, when we got the error, we created an error and then we rescued that error with the uh, my special error. Um, so here, yeah, the this is going to be exception handled. And then ex.message, what do you think that's going to be? I think it's going to be my message. Um, we can test it here. And it'll show that it's my message. So we can paste this into here. And save that. And we can move on. Um, we can run the rake task just for fun. I'm pretty sure that one's going to work. Uh, so we're on line 57 now, which is this guy. Uh, here we result nil. Uh, we begin with our fail of oops. And then if there's no code here, we want to ensure, ensure ensure the result is equal to always run. And so I guess this is just showing us that the ensure clause, where we have a begin, rescue, ensure, fail test, this will probably show us uh, always run. And I don't actually see this very often. This is kind of cool, actually. Uh, so if we show result down here, it shows always run. So even if there's nothing in the rescue um, clause, we can still ensure that something happens no matter what happens, even if the even if our program causes errors. Uh, so always run is there. Okay, cool. And sometimes you must know what you must know about the unknown. So to do end block a topic to explore more later. So raise blank do raise my special error. New instance can be raised directly. Huh. I'm going to save this and rake here. I'm not exactly sure the assert raise is asked here. Exception. Fill me in expected, but it has this get new instant thing. Is So, fill me in expect exception. Was raised. New instances can be raised directly. Assert raise. True? 63 63 is still the problem class or module required so assert raise I mean I guess we could just say um, you know raise oops if we were to call that would that work 63 looks like 63 is still the problem the answer you seek was oops so that was not right um, my special error maybe we could just go standard error 63 okay so that's what they wanted they just wanted to pass in a standard error and be sure 
that it caused another error, I suppose. This one's actually perplexing to me. I don't understand the value of that. Uh, so about triangle project two is our next one. So we've completed this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this one and we'll see you in the next lesson.